Hello, Scorpio. Welcome. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. This might be a general reading, so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, check out my wife's channel. I brought the three tarot. She's read for you as well. Thank you. See what's going on. Mm. Goodness, okay. Wow. <laughs> I I can feel that energy from here, Scorpio. Um I can feel that energy from here. It's the equivalent of, just as an example, you have a scorpion backed up into a corner. Um, the, the tail is kind of like reared up, uh, ready to strike or sting. You're showing me immediately, even though this is kind of like you're saying, I'm just minding my own business in my home, just doing my thing. There's something here that you're very cold about, and I don't exactly know what is going on, but I do seem and feel like you are assessing something, you are kind of like replaying something over, and trying to make sense out of it emotionally as well as mentally. Whatever this analysis is that you are doing, um, you're actually not too sure about how things are moving forward or whether or not you're actually going to be or possibly are truly happy and fulfilled with everything. It's interesting. It could be about a living situation. It could be about just where you're at emotionally speaking. I don't know. Um, it could be about direction of which way you're wanting to move in. But you are showing me that you are... You know, you are happy and fulfilled. I'm just a little curious as to, you know, what may have caused that process to take place, but we'll see. Okay. You're being very clear and direct, which I appreciate. You're showing me that you have so much to take care of. You almost kind of feel a bit overwhelmed. But you know you know, you kind of have to take care of it, and you are. But what's interesting is you're kind of like, I have to, I kind of have to be in this mode or have to be in this mindset to take care of what I need to take care of, whether it be responsibilities, whether it be some sort of financial endeavor. But ultimately, what I like about this is you're kind of like saying, I'm focused about clearing my schedule to focus on me and my emotional standing. You're, you're saying I want to kind of switch this energy, but I have to be in this mode or be in this mindset or perspective in order to kind of like take myself there or get myself to that point of being like, okay, I can kind of relax. I can take it easy. I can just sit with myself and kind of feel good. Yeah, it's, it's almost the equivalent of, I got to do what I got to do for me to kind of get, get my mind right. And then once I'm good, I'm good. Ooh, you're showing me that energy quite heavily. Show up tomorrow. We'll talk about who you're dealing with. Um, you, keep, you keep repeatedly showing me, and I'm like, I, I get it, and I understand it, but show up tomorrow. You're, you're asking. You're repeatedly asking, and I kind of feel like that intuitively even for you. It's like if you have to intuitively wonder and ask repeatedly, I kind of feel like you're, you're something within you is trying to get your attention to focus on what that is and possibly figure out why, um, especially if it's about someone else. You catch my drift. You're showing me that you are very indefinitely listening to very like instinctual and you're also listening to your instincts regarding everything you have to be responsible for and maintain and kind of upkeep with. Um, this could be your work, investments, security. I do see that overall, even though this is an energy and consideration of where is this all going? Where is everything headed? Even though you don't know, you're still willing to kind of like ride things out and find out. Yeah, like I said, show up tomorrow. We'll talk about them. <laughs> You're kind of like, well, what about now? We'll show up tomorrow. 
you know, there's definitely some sort of communication taking place between the two of you about what to do regarding everything. Um, again, it's definitely something that takes you back, though. It's the equivalent of now you got something else to take care of. Now you have something else to address. Now you have something else to kind of figure out and work on and work towards. It's almost the equivalent of like, well, what are we going to do at that point? Um, yeah, you're showing me, once again, you're showing me directly who, which again, I do appreciate. Um, you're like, what to do about them? Literally, you're showing me like, you're, you're just painting a very clear picture. And I'm like, you tell me, Scorpio, what do you want to do about them? What is your intuition telling you about them and who they may be dealing with on the side? Sometimes I feel like a broken record. You're looking at them like, I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them either. I get it. I get it. But I also at the same time feel like you're having that realization too. Um, with that three of swords. So I kind of feel like your intuition is, is telling you something. It's telling you something. You're like, hmm. Um... Yeah, even even you're kind of agreeing with me and you're like, well, then how do I how do I bring this up? How do I address this or acknowledge this then? And it's like, <laughs> hey, you, let's talk. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? It's like, hey, I, there's something I want to bring up. There's something I want to talk. There's something I want to discuss. There's something that's been weighing on my mind. There's something intuitively I feel is a little bit off. Um, do you mind sitting down and just kind of clearing the air for me a little bit so that I feel a little bit more comfortable with knowing what's going on or if it's just me or as if it's you or is there something going on I want to find out? And if they're like, meh, 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 then you have your answer. But if they sit down and actually care enough to take the time, then there you go. You have your answer as well. They care enough to take the time. You're showing me that whatever this realization is... Um, you're having to sit there and try and look into things and figure out like, okay, well, do I want to say something? Do I want to speak up about this? Do I not want to say about this? And now you're beginning to kind of spin your wheels out of confusion because it's like, like I said, your intuition is pointing you in the direction of something about someone. And it's almost like, are you going to listen to yourself or are you going to just kind of like deny and reject that voice? Um, that's fine. I'll walk you through it. It's just, <laughs> you're, you're, <laughs> you're like, nah, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, well then, what are you doing all this for then? I call bullshit on that. There's the tower. I call bullshit on that. There's the devil underneath the cards too. So, um, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it slide. No, you're not. No, you're not. It's like this overall energy of something's clearly not working out for you and you're realizing that. And you're, you're going through this long process of to let this be done with and over with, to let this go, to possibly let them go or to not. And I feel like you're fighting your intuition here on this. There may be children and kids involved, which is understandable. At the same time, the kids and the children are not an excuse to stay with someone that you just clearly intuitively feel like is wrong for you. Even though you're showing me that you are on the right track or right path, sometimes you find yourself on a, let's just say, a messed up path to learn a very difficult life lesson of like, you might want to listen to yourself. Because over here you are, but then it's like, once you find out that you're on the right path, then it's kind of like, okay, intuition out the window. And then it's like, now what to do? Let me kind of like step into my thinking mind and try and figure this out from my ego mind. Um, and that's where you start to spin in circles. You, you disconnect from your inner self. Um, or in a sense, if you want to refer to it as your higher self. But of course, I feel like whatever's going on here, there's definitely something being revealed to you that you may have to take care of. But of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with an earth sign, an air sign, a fire sign, or a water sign. They're all here. Goodbye.